everybody, Ray the Video Guy here, and I wanted to give a quick overview of a new product called Press Play, and the reason for that is this is a really, really awesome product. And the reason I say that is because many of you probably use uh, products for creating video skins or you use products for creating opt-in pages. Some of the popular programs are things like lead pages and for video, something like lead player. Well, Press Play is kind of like both of those types of things built into one easy to use package and it costs a heck of a lot less money for a super high quality product. And I wanted to show this off today because I'm really, really impressed by what they have here. And so I'm going to head inside of Press Play so I can give you a quick little overview of how this works and so you can see exactly what it does and uh, see why this is such a, a great product. You can see here I've actually been messing around with this and I've created a project here, but I can actually create a brand new project, which I'm going to do. And we're going to create a project for, oh, let's say for uh, some free, royalty-free music. Okay, and we're going to hit create. And you can see we now have a new project here. And inside of this project, we can create pages and we can create video players. And the way those work is inside of the video players area, you can create a video and this will allow you to use a YouTube video or a self-hosted video and add functionality to that video. Very similar to a lot of the programs we've seen lately, uh, things like Easy Video Suite and whatnot. It works very similar to that. Uh, but on the other side here, we actually have a page creator and this will create your, your opt-in pages and your sales pages with the videos built into them. And the functionality of this video player here is actually accessible inside of the page as well. So in this case, I'm gonna hit a page so that we can kind of check out both of those. And you can see here, we can create our first page. So we could have multiple pages for this particular uh, campaign. In this case, I'm gonna call it free music. And I'm gonna hit next step. Now on this next page here, we can actually choose from a number of really nice looking templates that we can use for this. And in this case, I think we're gonna use this one here that has the city background. So I'm gonna select this and you can see it's got a, a default video in here so we can see what it looks like until we add our video. But you can come in here and you can change any of the text that we see here. You can also change any of the information or the type of page that this is. So in this particular case, this is a sales page, but we could actually change this into an opt-in page if we wanted, or we could actually have this be a sales page and have an opt-in pop up on the video. And I'm gonna show you all about that here in just a second. So here we can see, starting at the top, we can actually adjust this background here. So we could actually use the image like we have. We could choose a color. And of course we can pick a color here, okay, which is not very nice looking, so we're gonna skip that and go back to our image. And the other thing we can add is a video. Now you can add your own video as a background to your pages, however, Press Play comes with a number of videos already pre-installed that you can use as backgrounds, and you can see there's a bunch of them in here. So we could choose, so, uh, psychedelic if we wanted. You can see that'll load back there. Okay, so now we've got our psychedelic background here. Um, I'll turn that off because that one's a little, little too much for most people here. So we'll choose this one called Worship 2. And like I said, you can add your own videos by adding the YouTube ID here. And that's the, uh, the code that comes after the watch equals V, you know, whatever it is on, on YouTube there. Uh, you can add that in. Okay, so we can also add a header to this if we wanted to, which I don't have a header, but you can see the black here. Uh, if we click on this header button here, we can change the background color of that. Okay, so we can do things like that. Uh, we can choose a bottom border. So you can see there's a black line here. So if we wanted, you know, to be a little outrageous, we could be a little crazy. I don't know why you'd want to do it like that, but we'll just leave it at that so you can kind of see. Okay, and of course we can turn it back off if we don't like it. And then we can go into our headline here. Now our headline, this is what we see here. All we have to do for this is double click on it and we can change this to whatever we want. Okay. It 
download your tracks right now. Okay, so now we've got a headline in here. And we also have the option to do a subheadline, which we can see is down here. And I'm going to turn this off so we don't need that subheadline. And now we can get into our video skins. Now, in this case, we've got an iPad as a video skin, but we could actually change this if we wanted. We could change this to, you know, um, a blackboard, uh, a small iMac, you know. So there's all sorts of things that we can change this to on here. A small iPad, okay. And the small iPad comes with these arrows in here. So I'm going to put the iPad large back in there because we like that. Okay, and now below this, we have currently the sales area, and that's this here, the button, as well as the guarantee and the secure information here. And if we click on this, you can see that we have the ability to change this from a wide to a skinny. Okay, that just changes the size of the box. We can actually change this to an opt-in form if we choose to, and you can see that it does that there. Okay, but we're going to leave this as a sales and then, of course, in here, this is where our button is going to go to. So we can actually change this to wherever we want it to go. Okay, very simple. I think I got too many W's there. And then uh, we can actually have this open in the same window or a new window. So you can see it's very, very easy to create these simple video sales pages or video opt-in pages. And, um, you know, you, you've got control over a lot of stuff here. And you can actually uh, enable time delays for the box here. So we could have the button in the box not pop up until a certain time. So we could maybe say we want this to pop up in 10 seconds. Or if our video is, you know, five minutes long and at two minutes and 12 seconds, we, uh, you know, uh, we happen to mention the sale, well, then we could set it to 132 seconds, and it'll show up just as we talk about that in the video. Okay, you can show it immediately after a certain number of visits. So in other words, maybe the first time they show up, this isn't going to pop up. But then after they've been there, you know, two or three times, then this will be here automatically at the beginning. So because they've already been through the process. So you can set that if you'd like as well. We're actually going to turn that off. And then you can actually add extra text in HTML above and below the box here. So we can literally see if we type in here, you can see that it puts information onto the page there and the same for below. Okay, so that's good if we want to add a few extra things. You can add images and any sort of HTML. And then of course, you've got the footer on and off that we can turn on and off there. Okay, and you can have legal information and all that there. So uh, just a very easy way to create a nice video page. And like I mentioned, we've got our video in here. If we want to make that even more interactive, we can hit the video settings here. And now you'll see these are the same settings that would be in the, um, the video page that we showed at the beginning to create the video player. So what we can do here is we can actually set these the video source. Okay, so in this case, it's... This is the default, and this is where it happens to be located. And then we've got a WebM version here so that this is a fully mobile optimized page. We can actually uh, upload a thumbnail, or we can use a remote thumbnail if we've got it in a certain location. We can put that URL there, and I'm just going to leave it at none for now. And then we have video behavior. So we can actually have the, this auto start on the page load, which we'll do. And you can actually have it resume where the viewer left off. So if they've been to the page before, they'll be able to start off where they left off on the video, which is really cool. And then, of course, we can actually have it loop. We can have it pause in the last frame. We can have it pause in the first frame. Or we can show an empty black frame. And the choice is ours there, obviously. Okay, and then we've got our video controls. We can turn on and off the middle play button. And the middle play button is this right here. So if we don't want to see that, we can turn that off. We've also got control over the, the bar, okay? So you can see this is the bar, and it shows our progress. It has the play button, etc. And we can turn different things on and off for that. So we can actually have it always showing, or we can have that set to only on hover, so just when you hover over it, okay? And you can have the... Uh, you can make the controls only available after they've been a couple of times if you want. Uh, that's for people, you know, maybe the first time you want to force them to watch the whole video, but maybe the next time you want them to be able to pause it if they want because they've already seen the video. Okay, we've got the control bar play button. So we can turn that on and off. And you can see if we turn that off, you'll see that now we just have the progress. 
Okay, you can turn off the volume and turn it on. See, that's right there. Same thing with the full screen mode if that's available. And then you can actually do an opt-in form overlay. So if we click this, okay, what we'll get is, let's click this here, you'll see that it'll put an opt-in over your video. And then again, all you have to do is come in here and say, you know, uh, get my music. Okay, so very easy to do. And then they can just put in their name and email. All you have to do is paste your autoresponder code here. So if you're using Aweber, you just paste that in there. If you're using get response or whatever it happens to be. And then this will be a fully functioning uh, opt-in right inside the video itself. And you can choose what you want to have it here. So you can map this to different things once you load that in. Okay, you can choose the background here. Okay, you can choose the text colors. You can, you know, just a, a lot of control over all the different things you can do here. So now you can see we've made it nice and ugly. We'll switch that back. Make this white. Whoops. Make this more white. Okay, now it's like a whitish pink. So there you go. You got control over all that kind of fun stuff. You can change the button color. So if we wanted to go with a blue button, we could do that. Just a lot of controls that you've got here, which is really, really nice. Okay. And the overlay, we can bring it down. We can bring it up. Okay, and that just gives it kind of that fade effect there. So just, you know, we've just got control over pretty much everything that is on the screen, which is really, really nice. And like I said, this is very similar to creating like lead pages, but honestly, you actually have more control here than actually you would with lead pages. And of course, it's uh, much more video focused, so you've got a lot more options for your videos. Now we can actually add a share gateway, and this is actually very cool. So you could actually have this pop up on the screen while they're watching the video and they have to share it to continue or you know share it to see the next item whatever it happens to be and you can choose exactly what goes into the share so you've got a picture here that's going to show up in the share this is uh the caption and we can change that the description obviously you want to add a description there and this is the link that appears in the shared post and again once again we've got where it darkens here we can actually change that we can change the opacity of that so we're going to leave that nice and dark okay and the url you want to share you can do a custom url there and you can also have a skip button like we see here, and you can choose to turn that on or disable it. The choice is, as always, yours. And then we have the call to action area. And instead of doing the, uh, the shared gateway or the, the form opt-in, you can actually do a call to action. And the call to action just pops up. So in this case, it just says, check out our limited time offer now. But you could have this appear at the start, the end, or at a custom time, just like with everything else. You can also have it be a text, image, or HTML. In this case, we have text, but we could actually put an image in there just like this. So you can have that image pop up at any time on the video. Like I said, you can choose a custom time if you wanted. So if you're talking about a product, maybe this is a webinar replay, you could actually have this pop up at a certain time. So this is going to show up 10 seconds into the video presentation. Okay. And of course, uh, you can do a, a, you can upload a video or you can use a remote source like we've got here. And then you can put what the image links to. So in this case, maybe it goes to uh, pressplay.io since that's what the product is there. And you can choose to have it open in a new window or the same window. And of course, just like before, we can change that background, make it darker so that when it stops, background darkens and the product pops up there. And you can also set it so that the video will pause outside of the viewing area. Now, we don't really have an outside of the viewing area because this is a very short page, but if this was a longer form sales page, the minute somebody scrolled and the video went off the screen, it would actually pause the video for you if you chose to do that. So there you go. I mean, that's, that's in a nutshell how easy it is to create a custom squeeze page, sales page with video using press play. Um, like I said, I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this product. I'm impressed with how easy it is to use. Like I said, it actually replaces a couple of different products and can save you a ton of money. Uh, I think with the uh, the leading 
product that would compete with this, you know, you're going to be paying between four and seven hundred dollars a year just for the lead page part of it, and then you would be paying another fee for the video portion of it. So this is a huge value, very high quality. You can actually preview what it would look like on a phone. You can preview what it would look like on, uh, you know, an iPad or a tablet. I mean, so just a, a really impressive program. Uh, highly recommended if you do anything online where you do any sort of sales, you do any sort of opt-ins or free offers or anything like that. This is going to be a lifesaver because it is very affordable for what it gives you and it gives you a lot of great options. So so again, this is Press Play and of course we've put together a bonus for this particular product. So check that out. It's uh, below this video and if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll be glad to answer them.